we've been very um, careful about the way that we've kind of integrated worship into our day-to-day -day activities. So wh whether it's part of the cooking and gardening group or whether it's part of the food bank on Friday, we've we brought worship in, but not in a way that kind of feels like it's pushed onto people, so that it's there in the background. So we'll have lunchtime prayers maybe on those Tuesdays and Fridays. We'll even have um, a, a love feast um, that looks and feels like communion. Um, but it's there as an, as an extra that people can come into if they want to do, not that they feel forced into in any way or pressured into in, in any way. And running alongside that, we have the prayer book and, 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 and other activities that people can take part of. I think the important thing is, is, is about reducing or, or having no pressure on people to feel that this is something that they have to do. Um, worship can't be poor forced on people. Um, and, and so it's just there. It's there in the background. We don't know secret of it, but we also don't make a big thing of it. It's just there so that people can be part of it if they so choose. And people do, um, and people don't. And both those things are equally valued. It is the love of each and every individual that is what's important.